he may very well be an Israelite. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Makakodash. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Makakodash. Shalom to the hopefully elect out here. Um, I came across this video. This was put up three days ago. It has 11,000 views. Uh, the name of the channel is Melanin Wisdom. Title is Catholic Cop versus Hebrew Israelite. So I'm looking at, I never heard of this group before. You can see they got the fringes on. They got the signs out pretty much like. Look, one, what, give me a sec. Anyway, like I said, Melanin Wisdom, 11,000 views in three days. Uh, Catholic cop versus Hebrew Israelites. You see the sign. And right off the bat, these individuals either were part of a One West, former One West group, or that broke off, or they, you know, watched videos and they kind of got together and they said, well, let's set up a camp. And they, I believe that they watched, uh, you know, IUIC, ICPK, GMS, Sakari, other camps, and they just said we're gonna make, we're just gonna do our own thing. And um, I don't know them enough. This, you know, they come off as sincere, but let me just go. Okay, I'm at uh, two minutes, almost three minutes, and two fifty-seven in. So let me click on this. Okay, let me hit about. Okay, so they've been around since 2015. Like I said, I believe that they're uh, either a group that broke off from another One West group or they just kind of did their own thing. So I don't, I don't have the whole, I don't know the whole story. Yes. So I, like I said, I don't I don't know too much about these individuals. Anyway, what they should have did was get with a part with a one of the major groups. Real, really, should get with GMS. And if you're watching different videos from different former One West groups, 
you're going to kind of take some things that you like from IUIC and take other things from uh, IHUPK and maybe a few things from GMS. You may take a lot of things from GMS, but you're definitely not with the Karagma and uh, definitely not with the grape issue. But this is what, um, let me just let you listen. I hope you can hear this. Okay, so this is a, obviously this is the police, a Catholic cop versus Hebrew Israelites. He's listening, he's being cool. And when I heard what I heard him say, after he started speaking, I said, this guy, if I was there, I would say you may very well be a Jake. Cause you got the whole thing with the black Irish, black Irish, if you know the history about the black Irish, they, that goes back to the Moors all throughout Europe. This is, this is why we had icons all over the place because Jake ruled pretty much all of Europe. The Asia Minor, where Paul went to, who's he going to? He's going to Jake that was living all up in Europe, all up in Asia Minor. And we spread. You have Jake that lives in among, the, among the Russians. We're literally scattered throughout the whole planet Earth. So I just want you to listen to this. I'm not going to make this long, and you can give your thoughts on this. Makes you feel real good, don't you? Well, give me your, give me your Three and verse 25. Read that. But he that doeth wrong so shall receive. He that doeth wrong, right? So you all about justice. We all about justice. We love justice. We hate injustice. We love justice. Read that again. But he that doeth wrong, so if you take people into slavery, captivity, right? Rape, rob, murder, grief, shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. That's what they call criminals. So that's what we are here doing. I'm going to ask you a question. Go sure. ahead. Okay, just some meeting dialogue back and forth. Go okay. ahead. Uh, right, my parents are immigrants from this country. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Uh, so. Obviously, they didn't enslave anyone. They've been working potato farms for the last 4,000 years, right? So how, how do you view that? Right? Because obviously, you know, to be taken as an individual, you have to take history into account, right? Just as there were many tribes in Africa, and how many languages in this country, right? I can even give you an accurate count of the right? Many more were lost, right? There was colonization, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, there has to be distinctions made. All white people are not made the same, right? You're from Trump, can't play just like African and Trump, can't play just like the So give me Genesis 25 and 23 because. So I hope you heard it clearly. Um, I don't know how this feedback is going to come in, but I'm going to pretty much say what he said. Um, he said that his parents are from Ireland. And. Uh, Back then, the Irish people didn't own slaves. Some of them were slaves, indentured servants, so forth, under other so-called white people. He said that in Africa, you have uh, hundreds of tribes in Africa, many hundreds of different languages. And the same thing goes in Europe. You know, you have uh, different groups of people, different types of Europeans. So basically what he's getting at is, you know, how do you know that I'm not an Israelite? And like I said, keep in mind the scriptures that speak of uh, being scattered. The key scripture that comes to mind is uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, 2864. All you got to do is go to Blue Letter, go to the Concordance, look up how many times the word scatter is in it through, throughout the Old Testament. And it, it clearly states more than once that Israelites were literally scattered throughout the whole planet Earth. So they have to, they have to be a certain amount of Israelites in Ireland, in Russia, in Germany, in France, in Spain, in the Middle East, among the so-called Chinese and the Japanese, among Gad, among Reuben. There's a lot of Jake, Jake's mix among them. So uh, you, you really, you, basically, you have to tell this individual, well, if your line goes back to J Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, or, or Moab. If your line goes back to that, then you are Israelite, 
you're going to have Israelites looking like white people, looking like Chinese people, looking like Vietnamese people, looking like Arab people, looking like Japhetic people. So, you know, one way you kind of know is through the spirit. If their spirit takes to this, then he sounds like he's intrigued. He's pretty cool as a cucumber. And he asks a very legitimate question. So let's see what these men come back with. See, if he could roll up on GMS, he would go, he would most likely go down the street with a smile on his face. Ultimately, y'all all the same, you all got the same us at the end of the day. No, we all got the same. So we well, we we come, we all come from Adam, but then you got, you know, like you said, you got tribes and nationalities, you got groups. So your your problem so is any point the goal eventually has to be to recognize us as all human beings. That's what it should have been. That's how it could have been. Well, you, well, listen, it is about because you got a group of people on the face of the earth that that they don't get along with nothing. Not only with people, they don't get along with nature. They don't get along with nothing. They control the sky. They cut down all the forests. They hunt animals for fun, but just animals. Yeah. They come to land and say they come in peace, but then. See, he's generalizing to the so-called white men. But like I said, we don't know who this man is. We don't know who this man is. The fact that he's questioning it and using logic, good chance he could be an Israelite. You don't, you don't know. I said there's a great mixture. So like I said, you got a lot of stumbling blocks out there. I'm not saying that these men are not... Uh, they're not uh, sincere. You can be sincerely right or sincerely wrong. But if this individual would have rolled up on GMS pretty much saying what he's saying in his video, we would have told him, well, you can very well be an Israelite because it was a great mixture. Anyway, what say you? Uh, it's on to the next one, Shalom.